Hello, I'm JW, and in this short video, just going to have a look at the possible problems on a TNCS supply when the combined neutral and earth conductor is actually broken and the dangers which that can cause. And also, if you thought that an RCD would be saving you in that situation, well, you'd be wrong. So, as we know, the uh, supply that comes in on a TNCS supply is just two wires. So we have the uh, line and then the combined neutral and earth. And uh, when it reaches your property, of course, that's where it's divided into the three individual wires. So we will then have the live wire, the neutral, and the earth, which of course is actually connected here. At the point where it comes into the property and uh, Generally, this would be the supplier's side and this would be the consumer's side. And uh, for the purposes of this example, we'll uh, draw in a piece of equipment connected here. And uh, we'll call it, uh, say, a water heater, for example. And we'll draw it in having a metal case, which we'll draw in black there. And of course, inside the device, you're going to have some kind of element connected between the line and neutral there. And being a metal case, of course, the Earth would, of course, just connect onto the metal case like that. Now, in normal circumstances, of course, the uh, power would flow in along the wire here through the heating element and heat up the water or whatever else. And the current, of course, would return via the neutral and then obviously back to the source of the supply. Uh, the Earth isn't going to do anything in this circumstance because there's no fault here. It's just uh, operating normally. And uh, the uh, potential of the uh, Earth connection here going to be pretty much the same as the actual ground itself. So I've just drawn the sort of real earth or ground in there. And if we put a person standing on the ground here, so anybody touching the uh, casing of the metal water heater or whatever else, absolutely nothing will happen because the actual voltage here and here is going to be essentially zero or exactly the same. And of course, that's exactly what you would expect. That would be really the same with any kind of supply arrangement. Now, for uh, completeness in this arrangement, we can actually draw in an RCD. And then, of course, that would be at the uh, place where it comes into your property. And as we've seen in a previous video, the RCD is a device that monitors the line and neutral conductors. And of course, you'd have the uh, tripping device coming off of there to trip if there was an imbalance in the current flowing through here. So if there was a fault, inside the equipment, which of course would say result in the element connecting to the metal casing, some of the current would flow via the earth wire here, and therefore the uh, current in these two wires would be different, the RCD would trip. And again, if someone, uh, this person here, managed to come into contact with one of the wires here, again, some of that current would fly via the person and back to the earth, and once again, there'd be an imbalance here, the RCD would trip. Now the danger occurs on TNCS supplies when the combined uh, neutral and earth conductor here is broken, and it's broken before the joint in the uh, service head or where it enters the property. So that would be, for example, here. Now when this happens, of course, uh, the uh, water heater or other appliances are not going to work anymore because, of course, the uh, power can come in here via the heating element and return, but of course there's nowhere for the actual power to return to, so anything that's attached inside the installation simply isn't going to work anymore. However, because of this connection here, all of this neutral here and the earth and therefore the metal casing of the device or devices are all going to be effectively connected to the line conductor via the heating element. So as soon as this is broken, you're going to get a dangerous voltage appearing on the metal casing of the device. Now that's initially going to be the full mains voltage of 230 volts, and if this person down here was unfortunate enough to come into contact with the metal casing, they're going to get a severe electric shock. Because in this situation there's no return path of the current, but as soon as somebody touches a metal case, and this could be any of the items connected to the system, they are effectively forming the return path of the current. So it would come via the line wire here, through the heating element or whatever in the appliance, returning via the neutral, and then onto the earth conductor here, through here to the metal casing, and then of course through the person, back to the ground, and of course back to the transformer or wherever the supply is coming from. 
Now the severity of the shock will depend on the uh, resistance of the individual and the ground compared to the uh, resistance of the element or whatever in the appliance. But in most cases the resistance here is going to be very small compared to the uh, sort of resistance of the person and the ground. So in most cases you're going to get pretty much the full mains voltage appearing here and of course that's going to cause a severe electric shock quite capable of killing people. But what about the RCD here? Of course RCDs are supposed to trip out in this sort of situation. But unfortunately in this situation the RCD will do absolutely nothing. It will just sit there, not even noticing there's a fault. The power will remain on continuously until it's actually switched off via some other method. Now the reason for this is actually quite simple. If we had say uh, one amp flowing through the circuit here just for example, so put one amp here, the current will flow through here as one amp through the uh, device or heating element or whatever else and of course return in this direction. So the current flowing here is one amp and of course the current flowing back here is also one amp. So again we've got one amp coming back through here. Notice however that the current flowing through the RCD is actually exactly the same in both directions. The one amp then will continue to flow around here, all the way to here, then through the metal casing of the machinery and then through the unfortunate individual and then obviously back into the ground and back to the source of the supply. So it wouldn't matter what kind of fault you've actually got here, whether there's three people hanging onto the supply or there's 20 bits of equipment hanging off the end of it, the current flowing through the RCD is going to be exactly the same in any of those circumstances. The RCD is not going to trip, it will just sit there remaining on and all of these people down here can be essentially killed no problem whatsoever. And the other thing to notice is that there's no actual fault within the appliance here at all it's still uh, perfectly fine inside. This has purely occurred because of this break in the uh, combined earth and neutral conductor here and because of this interconnection here between the earth and the neutral it just provides that additional path via what was a safety feature and of course now is extremely dangerous. And this is why you don't use uh, TNCS supplies to power outside things such as a marquee full of catering equipment, most of which of course is generally metal cased and the same thing would apply with a portable caravan because of course the frame of the caravan would normally be connected to earth in this fashion and of course if this occurs then the frame of the caravan becomes live with respect to the ground outside. So as you step out of the caravan of course you're going to be holding onto the caravan, stepping onto the ground and of course that's when the dangerous electric shock will occur. And of course the RCD again will do absolutely nothing, it wouldn't even matter if it wasn't there or if you had a whole row of ten of them, not going to actually work because the current flowing via the RCD is actually exactly the same in both directions. The uh, break in the line here has essentially enabled the current to go through the RCD as normal and then bypassing via the earth connection creating the dangerous situation. Now of course a similar thing would happen if you were inside a building. Of course the uh, same problems would occur, the RCD wouldn't actually trip. However inside the building it's rather different because first of all you're not going to be standing outside on the wet grass or whatever. You're going to be inside generally on a wooden or some other kind of floor and the other thing as well is in the property you're going to have generally other pipes and things coming into the building such as your water and gas supplies which are normally metallic. Those will all be connected back to the earthing point here which will serve to reduce the voltages appearing on any kind of exposed metalwork. Nevertheless if it does occur inside a house there is still some danger present. As I said in the previous video generally the likelihood of this happening on an internal property is fairly limited. But of course as soon as you go outside and have overhead supplies on individual wires and the like this sort of thing certainly can happen. And finally this sort of thing does not happen on other types of supply, for example the TNS supply, simply because this joint here does not exist. What you've actually got is a separate conductor of course going all the way back to the transformer point. So in the case of the neutral being broken on that type of supply this doesn't happen because of course the connection point here does not exist and there's no path for the current actually to get to the metal casing of any equipment or machinery that you have. So that's the dangers of a broken combined neutral and earth conductor on a TNCS supply, why an RCD won't actually protect you in those situations and why you wouldn't use such a supply to connect to things like portable caravans, marinas or for external events, say a marquee set up in the middle of a field with all kinds of catering equipment inside. So until next time, thanks for watching.